Most modern horizontal belt sanders use crowned rollers. They're designed this way, so the sanding belt naturally centers itself with the help from a tracking knob. But this design comes with a couple hidden trade-offs. First, you'll almost always notice slight lift along both edges of the belt. The crowned rollers raise the belt in the middle, causing the edges to lift. You might be tempted to crank up the tension to flatten it, but that actually makes it worse. More tension just forces the belt to hug the crown tighter, pulling the edges up even more. Plus, it puts extra strain on the motor. Over time, the graphite platen under the belt wears down in the middle, right where the rollers apply the most pressure. This creates a slight dip. If it's too worn, you'll notice uneven sanding, especially on wider boards. Check it now and then by removing the belt and looking for wear. Even if the platen isn't worn out yet, pressing too hard can still cause your workpiece to dip into that lowest spot, giving you less than flat results. If you've seen my 90 degree fence fixture for the belt sander, this is exactly why it exists. It's not just about sanding 90s, it also lets you shift your sanding position to balance wear across the platen. To watch a video explaining the fixture, click right here. Sub and follow for more bite-sized tips. Keep making things.